Lesson 102B, the second video, Algebra 2, dealing with uh, doing these functions. Okay, in the last video we did um, h plus g of x, which meant that we were taking the function h, whatever it was, and the function g, whatever it was, and adding. All right, we're going to do multiplication on this one. So if we take something like h of x, and we want to multiply it by g of x. All right, there's a simpler way to write h of x times g of x, and the way they do that is write hg of x, or sometimes they'll just write it as hg of x like that. And that means that you're just going to multiply those two together. So um, there's how you add them or write it. Here is how you write that you're going to multiply them. So let's jump right into 102.3 example. And they're giving me hg of negative 4. And they're telling me that h of x, so they're giving me the h equation, and they're telling me that it's x plus 3. They're also telling me the domain of that is the set of real numbers. And then they're giving me g of x. And for g of x, they're telling me that I've got x squared minus 6, and that the domain of g is going to be negative integers. All right, so that's the information they give me. Now they're asking me to find. Find this. All right, so the first thing I do is I look at this number. Is that number a real number? Yes. Is that number a negative integer? Yes. That means I keep going. If I answered no to either one of these, I would stop and I would write that for an answer. No answer possible. All right, but since that's not the case, we keep going here. All right, so let's go ahead and multiply. So we can, let's do it both ways. Let's take h of negative 4. So we're just plugging the negative 4 in here for x. And we get negative 4 plus 3, which is negative 1. Then we do g of um, negative 4. And that equals negative 4 squared minus 6, which is 16 minus 6, which is 10. And what does it say to do with both of those answers? It says to multiply them. So we get hg of negative 4 equal to negative 10 when we multiply them. Okay, so that's, again, that's the one way of doing it. Um, the other way is to multiply first. Take your equation and take your other equation. Multiply those two, which does not look like much fun but it is an option, and you get x cubed plus 3x squared minus 6x minus 18, and then we take our negative 4 from here, and we plug it into each one of these. Negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 is negative 64 plus 48 minus, or plus 24 minus 18, and that also gives us negative 10. Um, only if you're crazy are you going to do it that way. I always like to plug the negative 4 into the original equations first, then multiply them. You're usually dealing with simpler equations and um, smaller numbers. All right, one more. Okay, so there is... Example 102.4. They're telling us to multiply the two functions using 4 as the number that we put in here. So you put negative 4 in here and you get negative 1. Put negative 4 in here, you get negative 9. You multiply them and you're done. All right, but first of all, we got to see if this works. Is negative 4 a real number? Yes. Is negative 4 a positive integer? No. You're done. The answer's the null set. If you answer no again to either one of those questions, the answer, or there's no answer to the problem. Okay? So anyway, that's 102, B as in boy, algebra 2, dealing with um, kind of a
pretty simple sums of functions and products of functions lesson.